way, as you may know, since the days when a woman's worry over heart disease centered more exclusively on the threat to her, the man in her life. We now know it's not just a man's problem. Every year, coronary heart disease, the single biggest cause of death in the United States, claims women and men almost in equal numbers. Now new technology is helping patients live longer. I was feeling short of breath just walking from my car to my workplace when actually having to stop in the hallway just to catch a breath. This past December, normal activity just took a little more effort for 51-year-old Tammy Palmer. She blamed it on her habits. And I thought maybe I'm just, you know, severely out of shape, you know, need to get in shape more. Then came a dry cough that just wouldn't go away. It would even wake her up in the night. So finally, her husband convinced her to see a doctor. Initially, they thought she must have an issue in her lungs, but an EKG, chest X-ray, and CT scan proved otherwise. That's when they found out that no, it's the heart and it's not doing well. We did find that she had a leaky heart valve. Dr. Rachel Sosland is a cardiologist at Menorah Medical Center. She also found Tammy had some arrhythmias. Her heart was functioning about 25% of its normal function. And so therefore we admitted her to the hospital immediately. I was shocked because I was thinking, Lord, please let this be nothing. Sadly, it was far from nothing. The good news, though, her heart failure could be treated with medications, which over time could really improve her heart function. But until those meds kicked in, Tammy was prescribed a wearable defibrillator. It's much like the AEDs you see on the wall, but this one you wear 24-7, like a vest. So what the device does within 30 to 60 seconds delivers a shock to the patient and therefore restores normal rhythm at that point, hopefully. It's not very comfortable, but it was a relief for me to know that I have protection. The vest allowed Tammy to live her life without worrying about not having someone with her at all times, in case. I've had patients who, if they weren't wearing it, they would have just probably died in their sleep because their spouse wouldn't have known that they had a problem. Six weeks later, another echocardiogram showed Tammy's heart function had improved dramatically and she no longer needed the wearable defibrillator. So it's like my life is getting back in order, but I'm more aware now of what I'm feeling. It's a blessing, for sure. Is that amazing? Heart disease is the leading cause of death among women. One of the most preventable, too, through blood pressure and cholesterol control, weight loss, exercise, and no smoking.